members of the barrio. Midtown Manhattan is known as a food wasteland, but it doesn't have to be. Today, I'm gonna take you to five cheap eat spots that are actually good. So whether you're a local or visiting, take some notes. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Normally, I need a co-host for a video like this. It's a lot of food. Uh, ben, you hungry? Mm, let's see, food, I'm in. One cheese, one margarita, please. Thank you. You've got some big slices of pizza, folks. I mean, if this is your first slice in New York City, I think absolutely an amazing idea. You just fold it, big bite, mm, crispy, thin, so much cheese, so much flavor. For $4, it's an expensive slice, but it's gonna fill you up. It's a big New York slice. People are always saying that Joe's Pizza is a spot you have to go to in New York to get that Ninja Turtle slice, that classic New York slice. I tell them I prefer Pizza Suprema. Location, absolutely amazing. If you're going to a concert at the Garden, across the street, Moynihan Train Hall, we did a cool video about that. Man, I know you're in love with the margarita slice here. Very much so. What is not to love? It's, it's simple, it's beautiful, it's delicious, it smells good. I'm gonna take a bite. Mm. Mm. Just gets me, every time. My girlfriend, actually, whenever she visits from Virginia, she hops out of the Amtrak from the station, or right across. We go right here. So it'd be like our first kind of like date in New York. Pizza for your first date in like New York City. How symbolic. Romantic place, Pizza Suprema, who would have thought? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't go that far, but <laughs> if, if she's a foodie. <laughs> I learned moving to New York, you gotta fold your pizza that way. The moment I folded my pizza slice, was the moment I became a true New Yorker. The best part about the next stop is actually finding it. Okay, can we do chicken with rice? Yeah, please, chicken, rice, and beans. This is a $5 complete lunch hidden in a freight elevator. Does it get any better than that? I mean, we've covered Aquario Cafe numerous times on the channel. Chicken, rice, beans, Dominican staple, and they never let you down. Now, I'm gonna tell you, go earlier in the day, go before 12 o'clock, because they'll have more food options. They didn't have a ton of food left when we got there today at about two. Aquario Cafe is one of those places where you're not likely to see other tourists, trust me. The chicken just comes right off. Look how tender it is. Rice, beans. I don't know if you will find a more filling $5 lunch anywhere in Manhattan. At least in this part of Manhattan. It will be tough to find, trust me. Wow, it's really good. So you can see it's very, it's very vibrant, colorful. Based on the looks, it looks like a chicken asado, which is a Filipino dish. It could also be, um, you know, like any Hispanic dish. Ben, everything reminds you of Filipino food I've learned. Well, it's, it's priced really well compared to any other food place you'll find in this area of the town because part of it is because they cater mainly to, you know, like the working class. Just to, you, go, you go in there, you see like the types of people were construction workers, maintenance people. I think it's really good what they're doing to the community. Absolutely, providing affordable food in Manhattan. Affordable food that tastes good. Yeah, not, and that's even harder to find. Search no more. Let's do Deluxe, it's fine. We were here one of the first days this opened and there was a line down the block. I, it's so weird seeing this place so empty. Best fast food in Manhattan, you agree? Best fast food in the Philippines for Best sure. Best fast food in the Philippines for sure. Jollibee is no ordinary fast food chain. Jollibee 
is like a religion in the Philippines. There's only two of these in the entire state, so this fast food spot is pretty tough to find anywhere in the US, let alone right near Times Square. I imagine Italians hate this, but Filipinos love it. It has a certain sweetness to the taste, and I'm gonna take a bite. Temper your expectations for typical Italian spaghetti. Think of something sweeter, tangier, with carrot pieces cut in, and you have the jolly spaghetti. And I like it. Now, I wouldn't compare it to Italian food, but I think for the price for $5, if you're in a rush, Jollibee is one of the most unique fast food chains you're gonna find anywhere. Going to Jollibee, I think, definitely checks off the adventure box. And the jolly spaghetti is always something that I go for. Yeah, my first job ever in the United States of America was a. Uh was at Jollibee. Jollibee chicken sandwich. This is very new. They definitely did not have this when I was working there. Mm. Every bite reminds me of my childhood. Chick-fil-A, you better watch out because there's a new chicken sandwich in town. Your Jollibee experience wouldn't be complete without their classic pineapple juice. You know, I used to make this in the back of the store. I think the Jollibee store in Virginia went bankrupt ever since I quit. <laughs> Are you sure? Oh yeah, I also pumped the gravy, um, deep fried the fries, not the chicken, because they didn't trust me enough for that. The fake monks are back in action. Times Square heating up again. Gracias. We get three arrobada tacos, please. Con todo. Always, always con todo. I have never seen this place empty after a dozen visits, ever. Get ready. Los Tacos number one is the only spot in Manhattan that Adriana, my wife, loves going to as somebody who's Mexican and, and she knows good Mexican food. We got the Arrobada Tacos, marinated pork, cilantro, guacamole, pineapple. Pure perfection in my opinion as far as the Manhattan taco scene is concerned and a block from Times Square. Could it get any better for you? I don't know. Mm. The pork is like just the right amount of spicy, just the right amount of kick to it. It's very strong, it's very rich. The flavor is just there. Definitely not what you would expect from a taco, you know, out here in the East Coast, I guess, but. No, definitely not. It's the verdict. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think it means he liked it. Naked cowboys are multiplying right in front of our eyes. Yeah, two of the short ribs. All right. So you want to place it in for to go? Yeah, to go. Here we go. Moment of truth. The handoff. Thank you. Special thanks to Anna, one of my Patreon members, for tipping me off to this place. Technically, we crossed over into Hell's Kitchen. This is about a 15 minute walk from Times Square. It's a little bit outside the Midtown boundaries, but I think it's worth the hike. Braised short rib with gravy and potatoes. Look at that heat just coming out of it. This is so good. Oh, I wanna repeat that first bite over and over again. That feeling, oh my. God, that's good. The meat is so tender and juicy. Awkward. The meat is just collapsing out of this. It's almost too much meat. Mm. This may be a contender for my favorite thing in this video, and I didn't think I would say that. This actually might be my favorite thing we've had today. Ben, I can't wait to see what you've got to say. I'm gonna try it a bit differently than John. Same flavor. Just different kick. When I say different kick, I meant like there's definitely a kick there. I like the hot sauce a lot. It doesn't take a it doesn't take a lot from the flavor. It just adds the perfect kind of zing to it. It's crunchy, it's tasty, it's juicy. Is this is what they eat in Colombia? Yes sir. So I'd like to book my ticket, ASAP. You'll be dancing to Shakira after a bite of this. I don't know. My hips definitely alive. <laughs>
Check out our Cheap Eats playlist, link down below. And if I missed any spots in Midtown that you like that are cheap, tell me please, I definitely wanna know. Guys, thank you so much for watching, as always. Till next time.